on November 12th at 7.35 Pacific time, a lander will land on a comet. This is one of the hardest thing that has ever been done by the human species. So NASA's role in the mission is um, sort of as the junior partner? The spacecraft was built by the European Space Agency. NASA contributed three instruments. Along with backup support with what we call the telemetry, how you're going to track it, navigation. American instruments will operate on board of the mothership. And the mothership is really the main part of the mission. It will follow the comet all the way around the sun. We'll learn amazing amount of information about the comet. Comets are like little refrigerators floating out there, far away. They were far away from the sun, and they froze all these early particles. They were frozen, solid remnants from the forming solar system. Most of the scientists agree that the water, or at least most of the water on Earth, came from comets. So you showered in a comet this morning. It's extremely difficult to land on a comet. This is an absolute first for uh, humanity. The comet is moving about 35,000 miles an hour. Unbelievably difficult terrain. There are about 58 boulders on the site where it lands. There are jets shooting out of a comet. Very difficult situation. We kind of describe the situation as the lander being a cherry on the top of the cake. We've been waiting for this for more than 10 years, I mean 20 years, and it's hard to really even think that it's really gonna happen. 